I have a word for you. And the word is, God has chosen you. Do not despise yourself. As the Bible says, do not despise the days of your small beginnings. Because God has chosen you for that project. He has chosen you for that position, for that job. You do not despise who you are. Now the scripture says that there was a man by the name of Gideon. Now the angel of the Lord came to him and the angel of the Lord said, Gideon, almighty man of valor. But this is what Gideon said. He said, I am the weakest in my clan. I'm even the least in my family. Look at how Gideon looked at himself. He looked at himself as weak. But God said he is strong. God said he is a mighty man of valor. What is God saying about you? Because you could look around you and you think your situation defines who you are. You think the people who are around you define who you are. But they are wrong. God created you perfect. He knows exactly what he placed in you. Another example is Jeremiah. Jeremiah spoke to the Lord. He thought that he was a young kid. He is young. He cannot speak properly. And the Lord said, before I, before, before I, I created you, I knew you. So God knows you. He has good plans for you. Plans for prosperity. Plans for a brighter future. So God has chosen you. He has chosen you for a greater thing. He has called you to do his work. So it is time to stand up. It is time to know who you are. Because there are people who live in this world without knowing their identity. Because God could have chosen you. But it's up to you to respond to his call. Some some people say, I'm waiting on God. But it is God waiting on you. He is waiting for you, his daughter. He's waiting for you, his son, to respond to his call. And people would say that, oh, I'll wait for the right time to accept this. Let me wait for the right time. There is no right time. The time is now. As you are hearing my message, as you hear my word, respond to his voice. There are things that God would make, had, had, has told you to do, but you have not yet done them. Just as Jonah was told to go and preach to the people of Nineveh, but he did not respond. Of all the people who were around, God chose Jonah. Glory to God. Of all people who were around, God has chosen you. That out of your family, out of your household, You will be a light in your household. You will be a light in your community. When all lights are off, that your light will still stand. It will keep on shining. There is a reason as to why you are staying in that location. It is not by coincidence. There is a reason as to why you are surrounded by haters. By people who wish and seek to destroy your life. God has chosen you to be a light among them. Because if they can see the way that you, are, you react to situations, the way that you react to insults, then they will know that there is surely a God in you. Sometimes you don't, so there, 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 there are some cases that you don't necessarily need to preach the gospel, that your lifestyle will show. The way you treat people. It will tell them that you serve a living God. 
So wherever you are in the part of the world, do what God has called you to do. Oh yes, you may ask, how do I know God is called for my life? The thing goes back to the scriptures. Meditate on his word day and night. Then there, you will know your call. Because your friends will never tell you. Your family will never tell you your purpose. But God himself knows your purpose. So if you read his word, because everything that you need to know about him, everything that you need to know about you is within his word. Everything about you is within his word. There are things that you don't know about yourself. But when, the more you read his word, the more you discover who you are. The more you will let go of your insecurities. The more you will let go of your guilt. The more you will let go of your, your pain. Know who you are. For you have been called. You have been chosen. It is time to respond to his call. Be blessed.